Hi, welcome to new unboxing and quick testing. Well, today will be an FPV camera, including a DVR. So, according to the specifications, uh, the uh, camera can record up to uh, 720p and uh, 60 frames per second, so it's pretty good. And uh, can also broadcast in live, uh, either in PAL or NTSC format. So, uh, out of the box, uh, it's included in this kind of transparent inch ring, but if you remove it, uh, all elements uh, scale, uh, if you can measure that, something like 11 grams, okay, uh, close to 12 grams, okay, everything. So uh, you can remove also the uh, lens cap and it should be 11.2 grams, so pretty light, not. Uh, uh, as light and the uh, 808 uh, uh, striped, but uh, not bad. But you can gain some uh, uh, weight. For example, this uh, uh, power cable and video signal uh, ending with a mini servo plug uh, scale by itself at least, uh, I would say, uh, if I can measure it correctly. Uh, it should be at least 2-3 grams, so you can remove. Uh, you have also a mic there, with an external mic there, it's solder. And the camera uh, can be, uh, uh, also you have a ribbon cable with, um, I don't know, many 40 uh, uh, pins, I think, I'm not completely sure, cable. So, um, immediately I try if it was possible to connect the 808 lens mount. It's compatible in size of the uh, ribbon cable, but it's not working, so I don't receive any image. So unfortunately, because uh, the uh, camera module standalone, if I unclip it, it's pretty easy. Uh, scale uh, something like oh, four gram seven instead of the eight zero eight. Uh, okay, if I remove the caps, it will be better. Um, one gram five four, so it would save. Um, close to 3 grams, but unfortunately is not working. So, um, well, um, the uh, camera mount, the camera itself, you have four uh, different uh, attach points to attach to your eraser, if you want. So it's pretty good. Uh, itself, you have a ribbon cable, you can remove it if you want. Uh, maybe, uh, I think is a, this cable is quite standard, if you need a shorter one, I guess you can install one. Anyway, uh, the um, module by itself, well, if I try to don't have the effect of the wire, is something uh, around uh, 5 grams, okay. Um, I inserted a micro SD card. Um, I had the same quality result uh, with a, a class 4 or even in a, no name uh, SD card is not really important. I didn't observe a very uh, impact in the frame rate. Um, well, so I will show how uh, I can test it. I will uh, test it with my, uh, uh, if I can show my EasyCap uh, module here. Okay, I've got, uh, uh, we plug with this uh, special cable. So, um, uh, I will replug the camera first. So, like this. I want to show you how it's working in FPV condition. So, okay, okay it's reattached. So, um, I will use this uh, screwdriver to hold the camera module. I will uh, plug now the uh, this uh, three uh, wire uh, power. So you have a plus five volt, okay, and the video signal. So I build this cable, and it will be in the input of the easy cap module. I just need to uh, power. Okay. So oh, well, my laptop got a very wide screen with very high resolution, and uh, sometimes. The, uh, uh, the video signal is not perfect, but you will see in the, I hope, in this, uh, yes, I think it's possible. So the, the color are not perfect, but it's working 
uh, well, you have uh, this is a uh, uh, affected uh, video capture of the live uh, pause video. So be sure on your Google it will be much better. But I w wanted to show uh, the illustration of the uh, uh, frame rate drops when it's recording. So as soon as I, I press this tiny button, there is a, a small way the information, and you can see there is a the frame drop while moving the camera, a very slight one. I estimating uh, that the um, frame uh, rate drops to uh, 17 frames per second, something like this. I guess it's a problem with the memory of the buffer, maybe not enough memory to buffer both uh, the HD ready format plus the uh, uh, other out. I'm not sure, maybe it's uh, the chip, uh, video chip is not enough powerful to and uh, both. It's not catastrophic to fly FPV, as you can see, but you can feel a little, little bit laggy. Uh, in other hand, uh, the, I will show in the, I will stop the recording. You will see that now the notice the difference without recording. It's more fluid. Um, you have a 30, 25 image per second. So it's better for FPV for sure. As I said, it's not catastrophic to fly FPV while recording, but you have to know that you have a slight frame drops when it's recording. Okay, uh, I guess like all of the most uh, cheap module, uh, if you have a double toy 686G and so on, uh, it's the same. Uh, maybe with the 808 don't have such uh, drawbacks. Uh, I have to check by myself, but you have to know. Uh, the quality of the recording is pretty, pretty good. Uh, that's a good point. So I really like her, the quality. Uh, I can maybe uh, make her a small demonstration later. But anyway, so um, I will return and conclude this small unboxing. Well, um, this uh, video is pretty light. I guess you can save up to three grams uh, uh, by um, uh, Short cutting the uh, uh, cable there, you can save maybe it can go below 10 grams for sure. Um, well, um, you have a tiny button there to start on or off the recording, but on the control, you have three uh, remaining pads there. So I guess uh, it's possible to solder to one channel of your flying controlling board to affect the channel to start and on or off the recording. I don't know uh, which voltage you have to apply to trigger, but uh, I will try to know, but it's, it's possible. Um, what I, say, I can say, uh, it's a good uh, HD camera uh, uh, with a good uh, uh, field of view, it's perfect, it's 120 degrees field of view. Uh, the light sensitivity seems quite good. Uh, the wide air, uh, the wide range uh, dynamic uh, HDR sorry, seems um, okay. Uh, um, there is no possibility to tune uh, the uh, camera settings, but uh, uh, well, as far as I know. Uh, anyway, uh, I just uh, regret that the frame rate drops to uh, 17 frames uh, when it's uh, recording. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.